Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we are doing a squirrel hunt. Uh, I know that in the last video we said we we're gonna do a bear hunt, but there was a forest fire around the area that we were planning to go. So all the access road has been closed off. So the change has planned and August was pretty much off. So uh, it is September now and we are doing a three day squirrel hunt. So hopefully uh, we will get a couple on video and see how the hunt turns out. First one down, just walking this old uh, logging road, overgrown logging road. Just heard it barking at me, and then I don't know, he wasn't as scared of me as I thought he was gonna be, so he was just barking and then went up a tree and got shot at him. So that's one down for the day. Down here, there is a five squirrel limit, so uh, we just need four more. There he is. A nice young gray squirrel that's a good eating size right there so not too old not too young well as all you can see this is the visibility that I'm having uh, it is pretty sh short range so I'm just betting on my hearing and uh, hopefully I could hear the squirrels walking on the ground through the dry leaves or jumping on trees so yeah, but visibility is not as clear. Can't really see far. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Oh, there's one parking over there, so that might be score number two. Man, I can hear it, but can't really see it, so too darn thick in here. I had to just weigh him out. Not really sure. I know which cluster of trees he's in, but oh, I just saw him. All right, game on, people. Well, I think the second squirrel went all the way to the top of this tree, so I'm just waiting him out. But there's also a third one barking at me, so. Not really sure what to do. Might just wait this one out for like maybe 30 minutes. See what happens. Man, the Third squirrel's been barking non-stop for about 20 or 30 minutes now, so I might just go after him. The second one has not popped out, so I'll just mark to where he's at and then go after the third one and see if the second one pops out later. Second one down. Let's put a stock on him, narrow him down at this uh, to this cluster of trees. So he stopped barking for a bit, but I just happened to look up and uh, he was just there looking at me. So never moved. Uh, had time to set up the camera and I made a perfect shot at him. So yeah, that's score number two for the day. 
might go back up for the other squirt that was barking and went up the tree so hopefully we get three down today I might just get four to uh four for today and then call it a day uh say something for the second and third day so yeah been a quick hunt so far this has just been the first hour so i already got two down and uh, yeah good day so far here it is second one long bushy tail almost the same length as the, the body very nice squirrel Crazy steep, crazy thick, incredibly noisy. Everything underneath me just dry leaves, and I could barely see like 50 yards in front of me. Although I do hear one squirrel barking off in the distance, so I'm not quite sure how far he is, considering the amount of vegetation that's blocking the sound waves. So. Let's get one past the air too. Now this one dealing with. Thick and steep. I don't know. Can't really tell from the bush itself, but in reality it is thick and steep. We'll see. Start pretty early in the day, so squirrels will start active. I just got a little bit more to go to her. Doesn't grow far underneath me. Stop being so noisy. Like the actually starts to clear up down further below me, so hopefully I see a score today. I just got pretty much done updating and then all of a sudden I just hear a bunch of rustling underneath me I got a pack off I got my 6.5 off my pack got set up and Sure enough, a bear just came, just walking underneath me. Completely oblivious to me. I, I'm mad at it. I didn't even shout at him. It did not stop. Just kept on walking. <laughs> it made its way up the hill. And I, I figured that it was gonna, the way it was walking, it was gonna cross over to this uh, close-off logging road that I'm on. But. Unfortunately, it just kept cycling and I couldn't cut it off, so... 
I don't have like one tiny window. It's just so thick in here. It was more open. I would have gotten a shot out for sure. Man. I would love to got that bear. It was a jet black bear. Oh wow. Got me excited though. All the bear signs that I've seen here so far. There's no shortage, I guess. For a second, I thought that it had a cub with it, but then I kept, kept watching it for a while and it was alone, so. I was really tempted to take that shot through that little tiny window, but I didn't feel confident taking that shot, so I'll just let it pass. Oh well, I guess next time. I got a long day to go. Alright, so I got out of the hill hole. Yeah, we're back to the top of the ridge. Now I'm just gonna head over to a different spot. Hopefully that side will better vegetation, more clear, more shoe lanes. Hopefully more game. It was just so dense in that spot that I couldn't see anything and couldn't get shot on the bear, so let's go move to a new spot. This <sighs> does the steepness no justice. Oh man, that's hell steep. Came all the way. Huh? Oh, somewhere down there. How close to the top? <sighs> Curiosity killed a cat, I guess. That's what I get from wanting to check this place out. Either that is a very big buck or that's an elk. Not, not surprising to see elk tracks here. Well, probably won't run to one, but be cool if I did. So, find a place that looks promising. I'm just gonna sit here for a while. Hopefully, to catch something coming by. Uh, if the rogue in here wasn't so bad, this spot would have been um, very good to get to. But the truck is like a ways back, and that's a lot inclined to get here. <laughs> this spot would be money for deer if we plan to hunt here. But this spot is just an alternative because our initial spot that we were supposed to go to. Um, it's on fire right now, so this is probably just a one-time thing only. And I don't know if we'll come back here again. So, but that being said, it looks very good here. There's lots of bird sign on this uh, little knob up here. Also, there's a lot of these. I'm not sure. Cool these spiky little nuts that fall from a tree There's like a ton of them around here so hopefully I know the squirrels eat them but I'm not sure about bears so we'll see
whatever. <laughs> I was sitting on these two squirrels for the last probably two hours. Finally saw them climbing the trees, coming my direction. They climbed right on top of me. I was fishing with the camera and surprisingly they just stopped and looked at me. Uh, they didn't really bother, they just stared at me the whole time. <laughs> I was messing around with the camera, trying to get it adjusted properly. Get it adjust the lace and then uh, when I try to fix the camera, the camera keeps tilting too much upward or downward. And then the legs would be uneven. I had to keep fixing them again. That went on for I don't know for four minutes. And uh they just kept looking at me and uh, fortunately they were not the smartest one. This area um uh, I guess they were not hunted as hard, so yeah, I doubled up. Two squirrels. In case you're wondering, that's not clouds. Those are smoke. Actually, a uh, wildfire not too far from here. So, it's, uh, sad to see that uh, the forest always get destroyed every year by fire. Although it creates good habitat later. Unfortunately, that it happens every year. Alright, so today is the second day. Uh, yesterday, I got three. Uh, I got one off camera, and then my brother got two. So this is the tent that we are we were sleeping in. So now, uh, instead of three days of hunting, we're just gonna do two and then head back home after today. Uh, so now, we are just gonna break down everything. Uh, my dad and my uncle has already left, so it's just my brother and I. Uh, so we are just gonna take this down and then drive out to a different spot and see how that goes. So my brother and I, we just got to a different spot. We are exploring a new area. Uh, it does look better than the area that we were in yesterday so fingers crossed that there's some around uh, not really sure if there's there are any but uh, that's why we are exploring new areas uh, the undergrowth and the visibility is a lot better so I'm just, I'm just posted up right now and hope to see if any of the if I see any squirrels hopping on the ground or jumping from tree to tree So I had to shoot offhand at this one at 60 yards. I was still filming the first one and I knew there was two but didn't see where the second one was. He just happened to jump on my left so jumped and uh, gave me a 60 yard shot but I had no tree to lean against so just made an offhand shot. 
60 yards into the lung and I put him out. All right, first score of the day. Just shot this one down and uh, there was two, so looking for the other one. I think he's still minding his own business over there. Hopping from tree to tree. So I'm gonna put a stock on him and see if we can get this guy. Well, only got one of the two squirrel, so that's fine for today. Uh, he was climbing down with a pine cone in his mouth, so I thought that he was going to stop in the middle of the tree to eat, but he just kept on going down and climbed over the hill. I went over, but I didn't see where it went, so lost that one, but it's all right. So just going back to pick up the other one, and I might drive it to a different spot check it out so we'll see how that spot goes all right so that's it for today uh, we are just lo loading up the truck now and about to pack up and go I only saw two squirrel today but I only got one and my brother he saw one but I didn't get a shot him because it was just moving too fast on the ground and it hopped away uh, so the next time we might just be doing another squirrel hunt and see what happens and just gonna uh, wait till October for the deer season so uh, stay tuned for more squirrel hunting videos